Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Far Point Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina. Well, winter's here, it's time for winter projects. No, this ain't the winter project that I picked up for this year. Still looking for a Metro convertible, still looking for, you know, maybe a Volkswagen camper van or another Super Beetle or heck, any kind of camper van really would be kind of cool. But no, that, that's not what this video is about. Tell you what, let me show you what this video is about. I'll be right back. That's what this video is about. That is a Harbor Freight scissor lift, 6,000 pound capacity. I don't know the model number, but I'll have it listed in the description. And uh, that is the biggest shop upgrade I think I've had here since moving up here. Now, you know, I bought plenty of farm equipment, but I, according to semi-retired now, I'm almost fully retired from working on automobiles for a living. And what I've gone into is more of a teaching position. I'm more of a supervisor at this point, but I do like to get my hands dirty. Okay, well, I like to get my gloves dirty, and uh, I like to work on cars, so I brought my toolbox from work home, and, uh, you know, last year I did the Yugo restoration, and the year before that I did the Super Beetle restoration, and both those I did on the ground, you know, with the old roller and jack stands, and, uh, well, I'm not getting any younger, so I thought it was time maybe to look at uh, replacement options. Now, initially, like everyone, I wanted to get a two-post lift. Uh, I ran into some problems with that, and, and you know what, I would have had that lift installed two years ago if it weren't for those problems. I wasn't really aware of these back then, but the issues I ran into with putting a two-post lift in were, first height, uh, I barely had enough clearance to put one in, and honestly couldn't raise the car to full height. I've got about two feet on this vehicle. Most vehicles would hit the roof if I had a minivan or a Volkswagen van or something like that, or even a full-size pickup truck, I believe with a cap or something would probably be right about maxed out right here. Now, as it is, like I said, two, two and a half feet before I hit the ceiling. But So that was a pretty big concern. The second concern was that I don't know the density of this concrete, how thick the slab was poured. And that meant that before I could even consider putting in a lift, I had to cut out a two by two section on both sides, which means just sawing, jackhammering, breaking it out, digging it out, not knowing what's underneath this. This is the mountains. For all I know, there's a giant granite stone under here that's just you know an immovable object and I would waste a lot of time and effort doing that. But then having concrete poured, having it set for 30 days, having the posts come in, setting it all up, it just was a daunting task and every time I considered doing it, I thought to myself, next year, I just, I got things going on, I gotta do, I just don't have time for this. So uh, thanks to YouTube, I randomly became aware that these scissor lifts were quite as capable as they were. I, I've seen them before, I've heard of them before, I've never seen one in person. Um, I've seen ads for them. They always look a little flimsy to me. But uh, now, uh, after watching some of fellow YouTubers videos uh, and seeing what Ben Pack, Atlas, and uh, Titan, I think, all make basically the same lift, I would almost bet you a buck that, uh, that they all come out of the same factory from watching the videos, minor changes, you know. So, uh, Anyway, I decided to go with that. Now, Harbor Freight had the best deal. They were a few hundred dollars less when you took in shipping and extended warranties and stuff like that, which I went ahead and got the extended warranty, got liftgate service. And it was quite an adventure getting this thing in here. I took this and uh, had it shipped to my work, transferred it into off the 18-wheeler into a uh, nice trailer, like a double-axle trailer. 
got it in there, got it home, got it unloaded, brought it into here. And, uh, and the best part about it was a lot of the other videos that I've seen on it, uh, the packaging either came damaged um, or, or the, a lot of people complaining the crate that it comes in, not only comes slightly damaged, but it's a real bear to take apart. I got really lucky. This thing, when they offloaded it off the 18-wheeler, broke the front of the crate that it was in and rolled right out of it onto my trailer. So it unpacked itself. We never had to get the first uh, nail or hammer out of it. Man, it was just slid right onto it. So that was really nice. And it is heavy. It's about 1,000 pounds. I think when it's empty like this, about 850 pounds, but certainly more than a handful for one or two people to work with. And getting it in here and getting it situated did take some time. Now, it wasn't all roses. Uh, getting it hooked up, I did run into some issues with leveling. And uh, I don't know if, now, I'm not sure if you can see here, but there's actually some shims here and here. These are temporary shims. Uh, eventually, because my floor turned out had a slight slope to the center here, I'll have to get some repair work done on that. But overall, I've been very happy. We've only had it installed for a few days, but I brought this car and my pickup truck in, and it, it lifted both fine. I do need to build some ramps before I can bring in uh, my little uh, Toyota Echo, which is my little commuter car. It, it sits a little lower, and uh, you have to have... And yeah, you can build some 2x4s or 4x4s and build a ramp. So that's something I'm going to do probably tomorrow, to be honest with you. If i got nothing else going on. Uh, it's been raining on and off here, so there's not a lot of outside work you can get done. Uh, so that's it. That's the end of this video. I will, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this. This is. I guess I'll probably upload this one first. Uh, the second video, I'll go more in depth. I'll back the vehicle off of this. We'll take a close-up look at it. Again, there's other videos that, that kind of go over this, but I wanted to add my input on that. <clears throat> not because those other videos weren't great, and I do appreciate uh, the fact that there was a lot of information out here, but there's always room for more. And to be honest with you, for a lot of do-it-yourselfers like myself uh, who are hemming and hawing over a, a two-post or a four-post versus a scissor lift, I can now tell you without a doubt that th this is a good investment. This was the cheapest, easiest, most economical, and best, like, compromise that you could possibly pick in, in this situation. So I hope you enjoy it. I'll go ahead and lower this down and uh, the credits will roll. I am Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms. Hope you enjoyed the video. Plenty more to come on this. And of course, we're still looking for our winter car. So see you next time. There's always something that needs a little fixing on Farpoint Farms. Sweet.